The National Space Council is a body within the Executive Office of the President of the United States that was created in 1989 during the administration of George H. W. Bush, disbanded in 1993, and re-established in June 2017 by President Donald Trump. It is a modified version of the earlier National Aeronautics and Space Council 1958 <laughs> National Aeronautics and Space Council Topic. 1958–1973 Established by the National Aeronautics and Space Act of 1958, the NASC was chaired by the President of the United States then Dwight Eisenhower. Other members included the Secretaries of State and Defense, the NASA Administrator, the Chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission, plus up to four additional members one from the federal government and up to three from private industry chosen at the President's discretion. The Council was allowed to employ a staff to be headed by a civilian executive secretary. Eisenhower did not use the NASC extensively during the remainder of his term, and recommended at the end of his last year in office, that it be abolished. He did not fill the post of Executive Secretary but named an Acting Secretary on loan from NASA. Shortly before assuming office, President-elect John F. Kennedy announced that he wanted his vice president, Lyndon Johnson, to become chairman of the NASC, requiring an amendment to the Space Act. Edward C. Welsh was the first executive secretary of the NASC, appointed in 1961 by President John F. Kennedy. Welsh, who as a legislative aide to Senator Stuart Symington D. Missouri, helped draft the 1958 legislation that created NASA and the NASC, spent the 1960s as the principal advisor to the White House on space issues. He also assisted in the development of the legislation that created the Communications Satellite Corporation after his retirement in 1969, he remained active as an advisor to NASA. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National Space Council. Topic: <laughs> 1989 to 1993. George H. W. Bush created the National Space Council by Executive Order 12675. The council was chaired by Vice President Dan Quayle and included the following members The Secretary of State, The Secretary of the Treasury, The Secretary of Defense, The Secretary of Commerce the Secretary of Transportation The Director of the OMB The Chief of Staff to the President The Assistant to the President for National Security Affairs The Assistant to the President for Science and Technology The Director of Central Intelligence, and The Administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Topic: Disbanding. On February 12, 1992, friction between the largely astronaut-based management at NASA and the National Space Council led to Richard Truly, then NASA administrator and a former astronaut, being forced out. Truly was forced out after Vice President Quayle and the Space Council's Executive Director, Mark J. Albrecht, enlisted the aid of Samuel K. Skinner, the White House Chief of Staff, in urging Prey. Bush to remove Truly. 
Quayle and the council staff made the move because they felt truly would impede a new plan to restructure and streamline many aspects of the space program, including the Space Agency Administration. In 1993, the Space Council was disbanded and its functions absorbed by the National Science and Technology Council. In August 2008, when campaigning for president, Barack Obama promised to re establish the National Aeronautics and Space Council. Council. However, he completed two terms as president without having done so. Topic: 2017 revival. In October 2016, Robert Smith Walker and Peter Navarro, two senior policy advisors to GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump, wrote in an op-ed in Space News that if elected, Trump would reinstitute a National Space Policy Council headed by the vice president. In the first year of the Trump administration, Vice President Mike Pence indicated that the Space Council would be re-established, and would have a significant involvement in the direction of America's activities in space. On June 30, 2017, President Trump signed an executive order for such a re-establishment. Following its reinstitution, the Council met for the first time on October 5, 2017 at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum's Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center. List of meetings of the revived National Space Council chaired by Vice President Mike Pence. First meeting published on October 5, 2017 at Chantilly, VA. Second meeting published on February 21, 2018 at Cape Canaveral, FL Third meeting published on June 18, 2018 at the White House, Washington, D.C. Fourth meeting took place on October 23, 2018 at the National War College Fifth meeting is TBD First QTR 2019 the revived National Space Council consists of the following members Vice President of the United States, Chair Secretary of State Secretary of Defense Secretary of Commerce Secretary of Transportation Secretary of Homeland Security Director of National Intelligence Director of the Office of Budget and Management National Security Advisor Administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Homeland Security Advisor Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff <laughs> National Space Council Users Advisory Group On February 20, 2018, Vice President Mike Pence, Chairman of the National Space Council announced the candidates selected to serve on the National Space Council Users Advisory Group. Pending official appointment by the Administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the selected members of the Users Advisory Group will serve to fulfill President Trump's mandate to foster close coordination, cooperation, and technology and information exchange," across our nation's space enterprise. The announcement was made on the eve of the second meeting of the National Space Council, "...Moon, Mars, and Worlds Beyond, Winning the Next Frontier." includes testimonials from leaders in the civil, commercial, and national security sectors about the importance of the United States space enterprise, selection to the National Space Council Users Advisory Group Buzz Aldrin, Gemini 12 and Apollo 11 astronaut Tori Bruno, President and CEO of United Launch Alliance Wes Bush, CEO of Northrop Grumman Dean Cheng, Senior Research Fellow, Asian Studies Center, Davis Institute for National Security and Foreign Policy of the Heritage Foundation Eileen Collins, four-time Space Shuttle astronaut, first female Space Shuttle commander 
Steve Chrisofoli, former Speaker of the Florida House of Representatives Mary Lynn Dittmar, President and CEO of the Coalition for Deep Space Exploration James O. Ellis, retired United States Navy Admiral, former head of STRATCOM, and member of the Space Foundation Board of Directors Tim Ellis, CEO of Relativity Space Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House Marilyn Hewson, CEO of Lockheed Martin Homer Hickam, author of Rocket Boys and former NASA Marshall Spaceflight Center engineer Kay Ivey, Governor of Alabama Fred Klipsch, founder and chairman of Hoosiers for Quality Education Lester Lyles, retired United States Air Force General and member of the NASA Advisory Council Pam Melroy, three-time Space Shuttle astronaut and former Deputy Director of the Tactical Technology Office at the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Dennis Muhlenberg, CEO of the Boeing Company Fati Osman, CEO of the Sierra Nevada Corporation G.P. Bud Peterson, President of the Georgia Institute of Technology Harrison Jack Schmidt, Apollo 17 astronaut and former senator Gwyn Shotwell, President and COO of SpaceX Bob Smith, CEO of Blue Origin Eric Stolmer, President of the Commercial Spaceflight Federation David Thompson, founder and CEO of Orbital ATK Pamela Vaughan, board-certified science teacher Mandy Vaughan, president, Vox Space Stuart O. Witt, former CEO of Mojave Air and Space Port, former Navy pilot, chairman emeritus of the Commercial Spaceflight Federation David Wolfe, four-time Space Shuttle astronaut and physician Pete Warden, former Air Force General and NASA Ames Research Center Director